um, well and uh, welcome to my book review for today so today I'm going to do a book about deep water and uh, please excuse this mark I borrowed this book from my um, uh, middle school so um, yeah so this book name is deep water by Wap Key so this book is an adventure genre and it is probably the first no it's not it's not probably it is the f first um, book review I've done on this genre there are parts in this book that are very, very thrilling. So if you like those kind of books, this book is for, it's like exactly for you. So this book is about um, a, pers a girl named Julie who goes scuba diving, taking her dad's clients because her dad doesn't feel like going in the water and he, because he has diabetes. So he takes, um, she takes her dad's clients to the mountain tanks, two tanks from Vietnam War dropped for artificial reefs. They were private reefs for um the Mr. Mountain, and the mountain tanks are named after him. But two weeks after delivering the uh, coordinates to him, he died of some kind of brain disease. So they own them now. Like yeah, so they are made for artificial reefs. So the clients, Shane and Mr. Jordan, don't listen to Julie's instruction. So they drop down like before she says to drop down and they're all the way down there. But eventually when Julie reached down, she notices that the anchor was barely clinging on uh, to the one of the tanks and it was making very loud switching noises. Eventually the anchor pulled away and um, if Mr. Jordan, the Jordans had listened, that wouldn't have happened. But yeah, the, the, the um, anger pulled away. Julie had very less oxygen left, and Jordans were no, the, the Jordans were nowhere to be seen. So she floated up to the top slowly, so she didn't get the bent. A thing divers get uh, if they ascend too fast and like they don't wait. So they get like a lot of nitrogen in their blood, and then they, uh, they get paralyzed or their lung collapse or something happens. So um. Julie did that, but Shane, Shane and Shane also did what they were supposed to. But Mr. Jordan got up too early, so he got blood coming out of his mouth and nose. Probably got a collapsed lung. So they drifted for a long time, and eventually they came upon sharks. So uh, And it was hard to handle Mr. Jordan because he was flailing around with a knife. So yeah, they, dro they um, abandoned him and the sharks ate him. So, and after that, they floated for a long time again, and Shane was about to get hypothermia because he was starting to get signs of hypothermia, but they saw a red light flashing, and when they came up close, they found out that it was an oil rig, and eventually Shane went, like, crazy, I guess you can say, so Julie had to do it all by herself, so she climbed up to the top and used a winch to, um, carry Shane uh, like all on there on the rig oil rig so when they went in there they found out that it was um abandoned for reasons like yeah yeah so because um I think the oil oil was too cheap so they couldn't keep running it so they stopped it and so even uh, so um they kept they they stayed there for a uh, one whole month and Shane got an idea to break the uh, red light, so they uh, because it was a lot that you have to keep the light on. So eventually, Shane, but Shane when he broke the light, Shane came, Shane, Shane he, uh, he, um, came falling down and uh, got a broken rib and the other stuff. So when the chopper pulled up, uh, he had to go to a hospital, and Julie also had to go go to a hospital for a checkup. So yeah. This book is truly thrilling, like I mentioned. Be like other in other books, I said it's thrilling, but they were not like wow, like they're like, thrilling. This book is truly thrilling, and yeah, that's like the main part. It's thrilling, and well, it's a short book, but it's really, really interesting. So yeah, thanks for listening to my book talk.